the workers in the factories were fueled by sweet tea, uh, white bread to give you that energy boost to work the ne next shift. And we had a really good butcher. There was fruit and veg delivery van. We had a fishmonger van because there was no supermarkets. People were moved from the from the centre or even further away from any sense of, of food and where it came from. Unhealthy stuff is way more convenient, way cheaper. He got hold of the best produce because he didn't look anywhere else. We began turning it into a market garden where we could grow the things which weren't locally available. Greater resilience within our own farming communities. Our priority is that the food is affordable and tasty. Products that have got a story behind them that's not just, hey, there's the cheapest of the cheap. Don't measure up to the ability of a lot of people in those communities to be able to afford that. The recipes my father started with were from his aunties. I was really lucky to have like parents that were really interested in cooking. You know, didn't want to waste food, you got leftovers. But they cooked. If they were making soup, they made it with, with, with meat on the bone, made a stock, they get three meals out of it. Mostly soup. Neighbours would get a bowl of soup. Uncle Billy doing the soup and everybody all eating together, all at haphazard. And they would have any soup, Mary, because their soup was legendary. There was no real affectation about the food. It, they made it as best they could. Putting a good plate of nutritious food on, on the table, that's everybody's right. <laughs>